New developments today in the murder investigation of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The State Department said just this afternoon the U.S. government has not made a final determination on who is responsible. Now, this statement follows reports that the CIA has concluded that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman personally ordered Khashoggi's death last month. President Trump was briefed today by both his Secretary of State and the CIA director. Here's what he said before that briefing. You know, we also have a great ally in Saudi Arabia. They give us a lot of jobs. They give us a lot of business, a lot of economic development. They are, uh, they have been a truly spectacular ally in terms of jobs and economic development. And I also take that, you know, I'm president. I have to take a lot of things into consideration. Josh Dossie joins us now. He's a CNN political analyst and the White House reporter for The Washington Post who helped break this latest reporting about the CIA's assessment. Josh, the State Department spokeswoman said in a statement recent reports indicating that the U.S. government has made a final conclusion on Khashoggi's death are inaccurate. What's your reaction? We obviously stand by reporting. Uh, the CIA has definitively concluded that uh, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia uh, was, was involved in, in the ordering of this. And it's... Uh, coming after weeks and weeks of evidence, weeks and weeks of looking at uh, all available data, phone calls, uh, records from inside the embassy, uh, you know, all sorts of different data points. And, and we stand firm in our reporting that that's been the conclusion of a CIA, uh, the you know, leading intelligence agency, and that the president has been briefed on uh, the large amount of evidence that that's, uh, points to that conclusion. The CNN has also confirmed that same reporting, in fact, saying the, the sources that we're hearing this from say the Crown Prince personally ordered the killing. Do you see this as the State Department contradicting the CIA with their statement? Well, here's what's happening. Uh, the president has been very reticent to uh, take too much decisive action here. He sees Saudi Arabia as a valuable economic ally. Uh, I spoke to the president about this last month, and he said on the phone to me, uh, they're, they're really powerful in curbing Iran. Uh, he cares about oil prices. There's a lot of strategic uh, import that he sees in this relationship. And Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law and a senior advisor, has been uh, very confident in his relationship with the crown prince. He's cultivated that for two years, uh, much to the chagrin of some others in the government. So for the president, this has been a big bet. If you remember correctly, uh, he went uh, to May to Saudi Arabia as his first foreign trip. And it's a, it's a relationship that he is very uh, uh, concerned about damaging. So what you've seen is the president come out and say, uh, you know, he could have been involved in the cover-up, but there are all sorts of scenarios where he has not been involved. However, the CIA has determined that uh, he was. Frankly. You report that they reached their assessment with high confidence. Right. How did the CIA come to their conclusion? Well, the CIA has, you know, lots of methods. I'm not sure that we know uh, all of them here, but we do know that the CIA does not come to conclusions with high confidence, uh, you know, easily. Uh, that's something that it, that it takes a lot for them to say that. And and for Gina Haspel, the CIA director, and others to uh, take that information to the White House, it, it means they're they're pretty sure that's what happened. And in your report, as I as I was reading through, you you cite that they have the evidence of the uh, of the audio recording that was right. inside the consulate, and there was apparently a phone call made, according to your sources, um, from the consulate after the killing to the crown prince. I, I want to ask you though about what we're hearing from the crown prince's brother, who is denying your reporting, specifically refuting the claims that he had a phone call with Khashoggi, telling him to go to Istanbul to the consulate consulate to get those marriage documents. We, we remain confident in the reporting, and the CIA is aware of the phone call and, and knows of the order there, as we as we reported. Uh, there are a lot of denials here on it because it's a pretty sensitive situation uh, yeah. all around. Uh, but what the CIA's conclusion is is pretty firm, and the president and others are aware of, of that conclusion. When the president said this morning he has to take a lot of things into consideration when it comes to this case, he had also said at that time he hadn't been briefed by the CIA. You say he did know what the CIA had in terms of the evidence that you've learned about regarding the Crown Prince involvement? Yeah, the president has been extensively told of the evidence that Gina Haspel's met with him in the Oval Office. He's talked to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Uh, those in the intelligence community have given the president updates uh, uh, on, on this case. What the president has said repeatedly is that, you know, he's looking, he hopes for a reason to believe that MBS, the Crown Prince, was not responsible. Uh, but the evidence that, that he's been shown and has been provided to him by the intelligence agencies shows that uh, he is, or at least I believe he is very uh, confidently. All right, Josh Dossie, thank you so much for sharing your reporting with us.